So hi everybody, Craig Hanson from craighansongolf.com. Uh, check out the website, there's a chance to get online lessons and uh, plenty of videos and you can have a look at some of the pros I'm working with and plenty of free information. So we're checking out Charlie Hoffman and uh, I, I like this swing. So you guys can perhaps leave a comment, tell me what you think. Um, I like it for a few reasons. I know there's, you know, there's all different sort of, there's different swings out there and um, there's definitely probably swings that are easier to repeat, and depending on your talent level. Uh, if you're, you know, Bubba Watson or Jim Furyk or Fred Couples or, you know, Ryan Moore or whoever you may be, and, and you're able to repeat, then that's great. But you know, let's be honest, some of us aren't that talented or as talented as some of these guys out there. So, you know, there's uh, the ability to control the sweet spot of the golf club, which what I mean is, you know, swinging up and down or closer to lines or put it in positions that, that are easier to repeat, it, you know, it can also make sense, you know, so. Anyway, let's check out Charlie Swing. He, he's, you know, he's won 70 million bucks. Um, just check out this one on the left. And he's, he's we'll go through a couple of things he does, um, a couple of things that I sort of do like. You know, we all have our sort of preferences, I guess, but what you see with the compression through the shot, it's it's insane, like it's brutalized. So you know, he's got great iron playing and, and the ability to control the distances. And um, you know, at at the big events, the major events, sometimes you know, like a you know, he's just play well at the Masters. Sometimes about hit your ball in the right spot on the green is is really really important to sort of stop three putting or having the thing roll off or you know, leaving yourself with really difficult chips and stuff. So let's get in there and have a look. What's what's uh, what's he doing with his swing? So we'll put him in a line here. You know, it's a compact swing. It's got a it's got a big shoulder turn. So it's it's, it's also got a bit of width. Uh, you see the right elbow sort of separate away from the body here. So you've got a bit of a floating right arm. You've got some width, and you've got a big turn up at the top, but still you've got a short swing. So there's plenty of power behind it. And, you know, like a lot of guys, he's going to move now with his head forwards and, and into the ball or into the target. And he's going to go, going to go through what I call the wall. And uh, you'll see a little bit of movement down as well. So, you know, you'll see a bit of, you'll see the head move down and activate the quads in the, in the, or the muscles in the left quad. So, you know, the hips are going to do three different things. You're going to have some, some downward and some lineal movement in the, in the first part and then you're going to have some rotation and then you're going to have an upward thrust and you know, he's got all three. So he's got the move there that re-centers and from there he can then turn and yeah he's got some, you know, got some serious moves going on in here and it's just compression pure. Compression city, right leg down under 60 degrees and we've got some weight hammering on the outside of that left foot and some serious extension through the ball. I mean, that is, I don't know if it gets heaps better than that. You know, if you were standing there and watched the flight of that shot, the sound of that shot, you'd probably think it's not a bad hit, I reckon. <laughs> I'll check it out from this side. Okay, so you'll see what, what's interesting is you know, a little bit like Justin Rose, you'll see the left arm down quite low, lower than the original shaft plane. So we're at 40, nearly 40 degrees there, and we've probably got the got the shaft in, the, you know, in the 70 degree areas. And what that does is it's going to get the right elbow pretty close to the original shaft plane. It's also going to make the arm lower than the original shaft plane. So from here, you know, there's some great moves in this swing. You can obviously see some a bit of movement the movement down, so gripping the ground, using his leverage, you see the right hip stays back, which is which is very important. And uh, hitting some nice lines in here, club face in a beautifully square position. And because he, you know, he keeps his hips back, so his, his shaft plane comes down nicely. You know, the higher we get up here, perhaps the harder it is to release. Although, you know, even being up there, if you've got the ability to repeat it, it really doesn't matter that much. But as I said, I think there's easier ways to do it, and the exit is just fantastic. That exit out, and the connection, and the footwork, and that's a that's a great golfer, you know. Seventeen, eighteen million bucks, and he's doing pretty well.
pretty well for himself. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's my video, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Check out the website. Thanks for watching, and we'll yeah, we'll catch you next time.